24 Action News at 11 continues now with today's news. Past 11 o'clock, 25 years ago, the U.S. Supreme Court handed out a ruling that's still being discussed today. The court said that public schools could no longer allow prayer in the classroom. Since that time, a number of other lawsuits have been filed seeking to have that ruling overturned, but each suit has failed. The original suit was filed 25 years ago by atheist Madeline Murray O'Hare, and her son John Murray was named as the plaintiff. This morning, Ms. O'Hare joined us live from the new headquarters of the American Atheist Movement off Cameron Road. Thank you for joining us. First of all, Ms. O'Hare, can you, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. What prompted you to start this movement in the first place? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What prompted hey, you to... I, you've just ruined a television shot. <laughs> Now, now, can you, can you hear us now, Mr. I am going to bring God down upon their heads. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. What, what prompted you to, to file that lawsuit uh, that in the ruling 25 years ago? Well, the, the reason for it was that my son was coerced to listen to Bible being read in the public schools and also forced uh, to recite the uh, King James Version, the Protestant Version of the Lord's Prayer in the public school every single morning. Ms. O'Hare, in the 25 years since that ruling, there have been several challenges against it. Do you feel like the courts may be softening up and will allow, eventually, prayer back into the classroom? No, I do not. I think that the best shot has been made that can be shot by the religious community and that they have failed consistently. Uh, they were very... If